I'm the Talent Acquisition Specialist here at ESC Spectrum. I'm going to give you five quick tips to have your resume stand out. First one, create a master resume. This is something that's comprehensive and it's going to include all of your work experience, all of your skills, and your education. Once you've created this, then it's going to take us to number two. You're going to tailor a one-page resume based on what you're applying to. So in a master resume, you're going to have all of your experience, but you want to make sure that the one that you submit to the job is specific to the type of job you're applying to. So you only want to put specific experience, specific skills, and of course your education that are tailored to that job. Taking me to number three, matching keywords. When looking at a job description, it's really important to understand what are the keywords and the key areas of focus of who they're looking to hire. So you want to make sure, let's say electrical experience is something that they're looking for. Make sure you discuss your electrical experience within your resume. Also, if it's in multiple jobs, make sure you include it in multiple jobs. That takes us to number four. Handle graduation dates really carefully. If you've just graduated in the last two years, absolutely put the date on there. If you graduated over two years ago, we recommend you take the date off. The reason is ageism, while it's illegal, is still common. So we wanna make sure that nobody tries to estimate what your graduation year is and what your age is, and maybe is a little bit discriminatory when looking at your resume. We just wanna err on the side of caution to make sure this doesn't happen. The last one is put the most recent experience on the top of your resume. So if you just got out of school, education should be the first thing on the top of the resume. If you finished school quite a while ago and you have more pertaining experience, work experience, want that to be at the top and then have your experience from your education be towards the bottom. So just remember that your resume is your first impression. I hope today's five tips have helped you and I appreciate your time and tuning in today with our HR hacks. Until next time, happy job hunting.